Now in this video, we are going to talk about whether it's better to pay off your mortgage early or invest that extra money into some other avenue. Now, if you're thinking about this, it means you have some extra cash after paying your bills and you wanna make sure that you use it wisely. Now to figure out what exactly is best for you, the main thing that you're gonna to wanna to look at is your mortgage interest rate. Now we'll start by explaining how mortgage payments work because knowing this is key to making a good decision. Then we'll compare the math and the financial side of both options. I'll also share some tips on how to pay off your mortgage early if that's something that you decide to do and other things to think about when making this ultimate choice. But before we get into today's video, my name is Casey McEwen, and if you want to thrive financially, this channel is the place for you. So hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more future content. Now, when you get a mortgage, you're essentially borrowing money from the bank to buy your house. You obviously have to pay back all of this money with interest in due time. Now, for example, if you borrow 400,000 with a 30 year mortgage, you'll make monthly payments for 30 years or about 360 payments. And each payment has two parts, the principal, which is essentially the amount you borrowed and the interest, which is the cost of borrowing the money. Now, depending on your state and the particular house that you're purchasing, there also will likely be taxes and insurance. But generally here, we're just going to be using the principal and interest. Now, let's say your mortgage is a $400,000 mortgage at a 7% interest rate. Well, your monthly payment or principal and interest will be about $26.60. But here's the tricky part. At the start, most of your payment actually goes towards interest, not the actual principal. For instance, in the first month, $2,333 of your payment goes straight to interest and only about $327 goes towards principal. This means it takes a long time to really pay off the amount that you borrowed. In fact, in the first 20 years of a 30-year mortgage, you're mostly just paying interest. By the end of that 20th year, though, you'll still owe about $229,000 of the $400,000 loan, even though you're two-thirds of the way through the mortgage term. Over 30 years, you could end up paying more in interest than the actual amount you originally borrowed, especially if your interest rate is high. Now, let's talk about investing. Historically, the S&P 500, which is a major stock market index, has an average annual return of about 10%. You know, after taxes, you might expect around 7 or 8% per year. Now, if your mortgage interest rate is low, like 3%, it might make more sense to invest rather than pay off your mortgage early because you can actually earn more from investing. So let's use another example here. Let's say you have a mortgage at 3%. And let me tell you, I have been very fortunate and blessed with the opportunity to have purchased homes all the way really from 2017 all the way to 2022. And really all of those range from like a 1.875% interest rate on a 15 year note to a couple in the upper three percent range and both of these were purchased as outright investment properties now if you don't know how mortgage rates work typically investment properties are going to range about one full percentage higher than if you bought the property as a primary residence so if i had actually bought either of these homes as a primary resident i'd be looking at both of these homes in the higher twos but still a great interest rate on two single family rentals in the upper threes and a handful of other investment properties that range still in the threes upwards of a couple that i have in the seven so for example, let's say you have a mortgage at 3%. Paying extra on it means you're effectively earning 3% on your money. But if you invest that extra money, you could earn around 7 to 8% after taxes, which is obviously doing some quick math higher than 3%. So let's compare. If you invest $500 per month for 25 years at 8%, you'd end up with over $473,000. Now, if you use that $500 to pay off your mortgage, you'd save about $188,000 in interest over the loan's life. Now, the difference is due to how mortgages and investments work. Paying off your mortgage reduces interest, while investing grows your money through compound interest. Now, your decision also depends on how much time you have left on your mortgage and your investment horizon. Generally, the longer the time, the more beneficial that investing can be. Here are two simple rules to remember, guys. The lower your mortgage interest rate is, the better it is to invest and hold off on actually paying off that mortgage. Also, in addition to having an incredibly low mortgage, mortgage, if you have a longer time in your horizon, it is always better to invest as well. But remember, paying off your home isn't just a financial decision. The peace of mind from not having a mortgage payment can be absolutely priceless. And I'll be the first one to admit here, guys, the house that I'm living in here that I bought in 2020, I've never made an additional payment over what is required on a monthly basis. But the good news is, as I mentioned earlier, this is the house that I have a 1.875% 
15 year note on. And because the interest rate is so incredibly low, I'm talking about 60% of my overall mortgage payment actually goes to pay down the principal. Remember the exact example that I gave at the beginning of this video where very, very little of your actual mortgage payment went towards your principal? Really the opposite can be said about this house that I film all of my content in because again, the interest rate is so incredibly low. And then on top of that, it's not a 30 year note, it's a 15 year note. Now on the flip side, I'm going to be creating some more future content down the road with a particular property that I have purchased the lot for, but I haven't started the construction job in terms of building what is going to eventually be my wife and our family's forever home. Now the downside is it's 2024 and interest rates are not sub 2% or sub 3%. I actually have an interest rate close to 8% on the lot, and I'm eventually going to convert that to a construction loan. And eventually that construction loan will then be refinanced to a VA loan. And unless rates get exceptionally better, I'm probably gonna be in the five or 6% interest rate range. And just for peace of mind, and the fact that I have you know, not a sub 2% interest rate, I'm going to likely have a conversation with the wife and determine whether or not we just push as much money as we can into our multi-million dollar house and pay that off just for peace of mind rather than taking that cash and reinvesting it elsewhere and not because it's an investment property but solely because it's our primary residence and having that just feeling of comfort knowing that the house is paid off eventually and sooner than it would be in the next 20 to 30 years is something that you can't really replace. Now, if you decide to pay off your mortgage early, here are three key strategies. Bi-weekly payments. Make sure to split your monthly payment in half and pay every two weeks. This adds actually one extra payment every single year, reducing your mortgage term and interest in the long run. Also, extra monthly payments can be key. Add an extra amount to your monthly payment, even if it's a couple hundred dollars more per month, that can save you years of payments and a ton of interest in the long run. And last but not least, lump sum payments. Essentially, you wanna use your bonuses or tax refunds to make one-time payments towards principal and principal only. This can significantly reduce your loan balance and save a significant amount of money on interest again in the long haul. And just a little bit of clarification once again here, I'm only interested in paying down notes, or I should say note, meaning not plural, one specific property, and that would be your primary residence. I don't have a ton of interest in paying down my investment properties because my tenants are paying those, and I'd rather keep that money and reinvest it in future rental properties, but I can see the desire and want to pay off your personal residence sooner rather than later. Now these strategies help you pay off your mortgage faster and can save you money in the long run. Paying off your mortgage early can also free up money for other uses, maybe improving your credit score and providing total peace of mind. So the big question here is what will you choose? Let me know in the comments. I would love to know where you are in your life financially, whether or not you're erring more towards investing. Now I do tell a lot of people that are of younger age that investing, when it comes to investing overall, you have a little bit more risk that you can incur. Now obviously, if you're in your 50s or 60s, I wouldn't err more towards investing and risking more of your money. I would certainly lean more towards paying off your mortgage so you have a house to retire on and you're not worried about a mortgage payment in retirement. But once again, guys, I would love to know which one you would choose and where you stand financially, regardless of what age you may be. Feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more future content.